My name is Sugata Mitra. I was born in Calcutta, West Bengal, India. And right now we are at the Media Lab, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, that's MIT, where I'm a visiting professor. When I came out of my PhD, I became a computer programmer and not a physicist. And then my boss said, for heaven's sake, you've got a PhD, you should be teaching other people how to write programs. I used to look at the children in India, the slum children, and I said, they're never going to get me. Only the rich guy's children are going to get a guy like me. But what I did do was I stuck a computer into a slum because I figured that no one had taught me how to write programs, I taught myself. And there began the story, which is now called The Hole in the Wall, and the children learned. In the slums of Hyderabad, learning English is very important. I started asking them all kinds of questions. I said, can you pronounce this English word? And they would say, I don't know how to pronounce it. So, how should I figure out? And I would say, I don't know. How would I know? I mean, what do you think? Do you think I know everything? You've got to figure this out if you can. And if you can't, well, you'll never learn how to pronounce this word. Come on, man. So they would download the talking Oxford Dictionary. Then they would feed that back into a speech to text and say, if I say it right, then the computer will type out the right word. Village children, non-English speaking, not educated. It was incredible. So groups of children can teach themselves almost anything. You take children, make them into groups of four or five. Then you ask a big question. The internet is full of answers, but the internet is not full of the questions. As examples, why do we dream? Can trees think? This sort of question turns on the nine-year-old mind. The future of learning, who knows what we will need to learn 30 years from now. But we do know that we will need to be able to read. We will need to be good at searching for information, collating it, and then deciding whether it's right or wrong. If you frame the curriculum in terms of these questions, then the children are capable of finding the big answers. And when they find the big answers, they believe in themselves and they believe in the world around them.